Kevin, I think it was probably a month ago you came out and said if you uh, if you decide to play college, it's going to be Kansas or Gonzaga. You're going to go through the process. What about here? I don't know if you've ever visited. We were talking about it before. We don't know if you ever visited or if you're familiar with this place or what. What was it about Kansas that that made you want to make that decision? Oh uh, yeah, going through the uh, you know the combine process, it was either Gonzaga or KU. And, uh, you know, I didn't really have time to take a visit while doing all the NBA, uh, you know, draft workouts and trying to get them in before the deadline to make my mind up. So, um, you know, just while they were recruiting me, um, you know, talking to Coach Self, who's a legendary coach, and just being able to be coached by him and, uh, you know, ultimately help me get to the next level and, you know, playing on the biggest stage and competing with a great group of guys that we got in the locker room and, you know, trying to go win another national championship. And they talk about your defensive, elite defensive skills. Is that kind of, is that always been your bread and butter, I guess? Oh uh, yeah, you know, um, since growing up as a young age, I was always taught, you know, from my dad just to play on both ends of the floor. You know, uh, it's about affecting winning. It's uh, you know, doing the little things to you know help win games. And you know, I definitely have a you know a chip on my shoulder on the defensive end for sure. I think yesterday, Coach Self said that you're the perfect fit for this roster. I guess, do you agree? And why do you feel like your skill set fits with that roster? Uh, yeah, just the guys that's been here before me, um, you know, guys that can play multiple positions and guard one through the four, one through the five sometimes, and, you know, just be versatile. And, you know, I feel like, you know, in practice he's been pushing me, you know, staying on me, and he's going to bring the best out of me and, you know, ultimately just make me a better player all around. And, you know, we're looking forward to win a lot of games this year. When you were going up against Kansas last year and preparing for them, I guess, what was the scout from your perspective? What were you thinking about this team? Uh, we know they moved the ball very well on offensive end. Uh, great offensive team and on defensive end, they're very physical. Um, you know, and that's something that drew me in too, you know, on the offensive end, how everybody plays together and plays the right way. And I uh, as well coached here. And, uh, you know, that was a big part of the reason why I came here as well. You talked to the, I talked to you on the phone and you talked about your relationship with Jalen. I wonder how big of a role that played in, in Kansas being a possible destination for you. Oh yeah, it was big. Um, going through the draft process, we would FaceTime every now and then. Uh, he'll be at a workout or I'd be at a workout and we'll text and stuff. And, once I ended up putting out my list of KU and Gonzaga, and he was like, man, if you do that, that would be kind of cool. So uh, we always grew up like playing video games and stuff. We never played together, but while he was at Den Guy, I was at Wagner, and we always would play each other and different stuff. So we would play Fortnite and Call of Duty and stuff like that. So it's been cool. And now he's my roommate, so it's kind of surreal. Oh, and that ended up happening. Yeah, that's okay. my roommate. Yeah. Hey, so you, I mean, you maybe pick up games or something? Had you guys never played together? I mean, uh, no, nah, we never played together. We always played against each other. Really? Wow. Yeah, always. Yeah, so so what do you think you two can be here? I mean, a couple of veterans, guys that know each other, familiarity that's already there. I know your team's loaded, but but mm -hmm. what do you think of that, you and him as a as a, a duo? Oh uh, yeah, just being you know leaders. Um, you know we've been in college for a while now. You know he knows the ins and out outs of the Big Twelve. You know every night's gonna be a battle. Um, you know just helping the young guys come along as well, and they're great and talented as well. And uh, you know helping them get adjusted and all around, you know just just make winning plays. And I feel like we're so versatile. It'll be really fun and, and really good to play with him. I'm wondering, going through the NBA draft process and getting some of that feedback, what were some of the things that some of the teams said that they liked about you and some of the things you needed to work on going back to college? Uh, yeah, it was great. Um, I think I did about six team workouts. Um, then I went to the uh, combine and stuff. Um, I ended up rolling an ankle there, so that's why I kind of had to pull out of there the first game. Um, but it was great um, going through building relationships and talking to different people. Um, the main thing every team was telling me about is just my, my size and for my position and just how versatile I am. I play on both ends of the floor, um, really just how I contribute and make winning plays. And everybody's looking for a lockdown, lockdown defender in the NBA right now. And I'm kind of, you know, like in the perfect time frame of when I'm trying to get to the NBA. Um, so, you know, on that end of the court, locking down. And they're just really just saying that they want to see me get in there and knock down shots and improve my numbers on that end, which uh, it was good to get in front of them and, and show them that I can shoot the ball. And um, so they're just looking forward to me now. He's coming back here to Kansas and having more opportunities to be able to knock down shots and, and a better fit for me, you know, just all around. You were hitting shots at a high rate early in the season last year, and then you had the, the injuries. I think it was your ankles, right? Um, how much did that affect you over the course of the season, and how much were you kind of playing through the pain? Um, yeah, I was kind of in and out the rotation. Some games I didn't know if I would play, and then I just, you know, Coach, Coach Adams would throw me in there, and I'd be ready to play. Um, you know, I was taped up pretty heavy all last year, but, um, you know, it was a rough season dealing with the nagging injuries of the ankle. You need the ankle for real. I never realized how much you need it <laughs> out there. But, um, but yeah, it was, it was a big factor, but, you know, I fought through it, and it was great. You know, we did a lot of great things still. Did that have the uh, biggest effect on your game in terms of just, like, uh, was it lift on jump shot? Like, how did that mostly affect your game? Uh, just explosiveness, I feel like, just, you know, being maybe a little step slower than usual. Um, you know, just nagging kind of pain. But other than that, it was fine. Um, you know, got out there and, and helped contribute the best I could.
Can you practice soon? Yeah, I've already been practicing. So, yep, I was practicing today. We just got done, got some good work in. What do you think of uh, Ernest and all the newcomers? Oh, uh, yeah, you go down the list uh, Ernest, MJ, Grady, all of them, uh, everybody that's new here. Uh, we are, you know, trying to figure out, you know, the following guys like, you know, Juan and, and, and Joe and guys like that that's, that's been here and, uh, you know, getting adjusted and, and playing, you know, KU basketball, which is, you know, it works. Uh, they just won a national championship. And, uh, you know, we're all clicking and bonding on and off the court. And, um, you know, I love this group, group, group of guys, and, you know, we, we've been bonding well. So, Do you think you'll be a leader type? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, every team that I've kind of been on, I've kind of, you know, fed in a leadership role. And I feel like, you know, guys like me, you know, Jay Will, Juan, that's been in college for a while and they know what it takes, you know, to win in the Big 12 are definitely going to take the leadership roles for sure. Kevin, the schedule's not out, but let's fast forward because you've seen it. What do you think it's going to be like going back to Lubbock? Um, I know it'd be, you know, an intense game. Um, you know, nothing but love for Tech and everything. You know, I, I laid my heart on the line for him. So, you know, it would be good, though, going back there and competing. Um, you know, it's basketball at the end of the day. So I'll be looking forward to it for Have sure. Have you thought much about it? Mm -hmm. uh, nah, not really. Okay. Nah, but I'll be ready, though, for sure. Yeah. What do you think of Grady, the player, in person? Uh, off the court, Grady is a super cool dude. Uh, his, he's per his personality is, like, off the charts. Uh, funny, funniest dude I've been around <laughs> in a while. Uh, he's always joking around and stuff, whether that's going to get some food or just sitting around the dorms chilling. Uh, and on the court, uh, he's a special talent. Uh, he can get his shot off whenever he's 6'8". Um, you know, he's a young guy, but he's picking things up real quickly, and he's going to be a, a great addition for sure. Why did you want to come here this summer? You could have, as an older guy, you know, just told Coach you were busy or something. Why did you want to come in? Uh, just to get work in and just start building that team chemistry already. Um, you know, I'm, I'm ready to work and ready to get out here and, and learn from one of the best coaches ever. So, Coach Tuck. Kevin, you, you were there when um, Coach, um, Coach Beard came back. You know how those fans can get. Do you, I mean, do you, do you allow yourself to think about that when you do make your return, what it could be like? Uh, no, I'm not worried about it. At the end of the day, it's basketball. Um, you know, everybody, you know, moves around, this and that, that and there. Um, it's basketball at the end of the day. Fans are going to be fans, and, you know, we're, we're out there to put on the show for the fans, so I'll be ready for sure. What does the team think of Wiggins? Uh, it's been special watching them. Uh, last night watching that game is kind of surreal, you know, seeing a KU basketball player out there, you know, playing for the NBA Finals and championship and putting up the numbers that he's doing. Uh, you know, he, he's affecting the game in many ways, so without him out there, the Warriors might be in trouble. Kevin, have oh, you signed no. any NIL deals <coughs> since you've gotten to Kansas? Uh, uh no, sir. What's, is that something you're top of mind, or where do you stand basically on the opportunities that could be presented to you there? Um, yeah, if opportunities pop up, then yeah, I'll be ready to do some NIL stuff. But other than that, I'm just out here hooping right now. So, <laughs> I wanted to follow up on the, the NBA thing too. Did, was was there one thing or a couple of things that they said we want to see you improve? in this area the most uh, for next year and the, the draft after that? Um, really, they said, you know, passing, guarding, playing the right way, uh, making winning plays, um, even shooting the ball. They know, like, when I was open catch and shoot, I was shooting 42%. So a lot of my shots last year came contested mm -hmm. um, and not really created for and stuff like that. So they're just looking to see that. And um, really just staying healthy is the main thing. So yeah. um, that's, that was the main thing that they're telling me, to stay healthy. And, and they told me I'll be an NBA player for a very long time if I keep playing the way I play. So. Cool. What was that like to hear? Uh, it felt good um, knowing I'm right there uh, yeah. to my ultimate goal and my dream since I've been a little kid. So I'm um, just knocking on the doorstep. But, you know, now I'm here at Kansas and ready to try to run it back. So. Knocking on wood, too. How do you stay healthy? You just – it's luck, too, right? Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> definitely luck. Um, but, you know, just taking care of my body, you know, yeah. eating right and, um, you know, getting with the trainer. Um, and Coach Self and them have a great plan for me in place, and um, you know I'm looking forward to it. Last one for me. I wanted to know, as Kansas is prepared to play Texas Tech, while you were there, you know Coach would talk about Coach Self would talk about the scouting report and who's this and who's that, and he's always spoken very highly of you. I mean, I think he's even said in the past, Kevin's a pro. You know, I mean, did you ever hear that? Were you aware of that? Did you know that that he thought that way of you even before? You coming here was a possibility? Uh, yeah, Jay Will would tell me that on the scout report, he would tell me, like, this guy, like, makes some go kind and stuff. So that was good to hear as well. Yeah. Um, you know, but, you know, getting on the phone with him, uh, finally, when I did enter the portal, um, you know, just hearing how excited he was um, and just his enthusiasm and stuff like that. And, you know, just hearing it from, you know, a coach of that caliber, you know, it was good. And, you know, he has a great place, like, a plan in place for me and for all of our guys here to, you know, win a lot of games. So it's going to be good. Cool. Which yeah. audience teams did you work out for? Um, I worked out for the Suns, the Jazz. Um, well, I ate dinner and stuff with the GMs and stuff like that. So I went out there, Suns and Jazz. Uh, and then before the Carmine, I did Brooklyn, the Knicks, and the Nets.